Today we will learn how to create a Mediterranean food forest. If you would like to know more, I've made a video comparing a food forest to classic orchard. Before we combine different plants to create gilts, we need to understand the climate conditions. Mediterranean climate is characterized by warm to hot dry summers and mild wet winters. Therefore, when planning to plant gilts in a Mediterranean climate, it's important to select plants that can tolerate drought conditions and minimize water usage. You may also want to consider incorporating water-saving techniques such as mulching and drip irrigation. When choosing plants for your gilts, look for species that are native to the Mediterranean climate and can work well together to support the growth of the others. Let's take a closer look at each layer in a fruit tree gilt. In the first example, the overstory tree is Tagasast, supporting the understory lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit and clementine trees. The shrub layer consists of rosemary and hibiscus, which repel pests and attract pollinators. Echinacea is planted as the herbaceous layer. It is used for medicinal purposes to support the immune system and fight off infections. Echinacea also attracts beneficial insects like bees and butterflies to the garden. Oregano serves as the ground cover layer, suppressing weeds and retaining moisture. The root layer is comprised of salsify, Having a deep taproot, tolerant to drought, salsify can be cooked and eaten like a parsnip, and its flowers attract pollinators to the garden. Salsify's roots help to bring up nutrients from deep within the soil, which is so beneficial. Finally, the climbing and vining plants include a grapevine, which can be trained to grow up the trunks of the fruit trees. In the second guild, the overstory tree is a fig tree, providing a dense canopy of shade. The understory tree is a pomegranate, strawberry, and feijoa. Bay laurel, otherwise known as bay leaf, serve as the shrub layer with its aromatic leaves repelling pests. Sage is in the herbaceous layer, providing a flavorful herb for cooking. And chamomile serves as the ground cover layer, suppressing weeds and attracting beneficial insects. The root layer consists of dandelion, which helps to bring up nutrients and break up compacted soil. Finally, the climbing plant include a passion fruit or passion flower vine which provides shade. The third example is about nut tree gilt. Almond and pistachios in the overstory produce nuts and give shade to other species. Around the plantation we can plant Siberian pea tree. This hardy tree is a great choice for windbreaks and erosion control as it can tolerate harsh growing conditions. It also produces edible peas, making it a useful, multi-purpose plant for food forests and agroforestry systems. In gaps between nut trees, we can locate nitrogen-fixing edible berry bushes, such as service berries, autumn olive, gummy berries. A lavender serves as the herb layer with its fragrant flowers attracting bees and other beneficial insects. Thyme serves as the ground cover layer, suppressing weeds and retaining moisture, and the yarrow is planted as the root layer, bringing up nutrients from deep within the soil. Finally, we have a kiwi vine climbing around trunks. In the last guild, the overstory tree is a carob tree. It is another example of a legume tree that is well suited to the Mediterranean climate. It is a slow-growing evergreen tree that can grow up to 10 meters tall. The tree produces long, leathery pots that contain a sweet, edible pulp. The pots can be used to make a variety of products, including a chocolate substitute, and the tree itself provides shade and habitat for wildlife. Furthermore, the pods of the carob tree are often used as a food source for livestock, such as goats, sheep, and cattle. The pods can be fed to animals either fresh or dried, and they are a good source of nutrition. Why not let your animals to your food forest to eat insects and feed on this deliciousness at the same time? In this guild, and the understory tree are peach, plum, apricot, providing fruit and attracting pollinators. Myrtle serves as the shrub layer with its aromatic leaves repelling pests. Marjoram is planted as the herbaceous layer, providing a flavorful herb for cooking. French honeysuckle is the ground cover layer, tolerant to drought, suppressing weeds and fixing nitrogen. Chicory serves as the root layer, helping to bring up nutrients and improve soil structure. Finally, the climbing and vining plant include a hobs vine, which can be trained to grow up the trunks, providing shade and helping to control soil erosion. 
By employing these and other planting strategies, you can create beautiful, productive, and sustainable garden in a challenging Mediterranean climate. Thanks so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed this content and hit the notification bell to not miss any future content.